Hello guys. Um, before we start this video, um, please make sure you subscribe to Ky Chiral Breath. Chiral Breath. Um, I'll put the link down in the description because he asked me for a shout out, so I'm offering a shout out for him. Also, if you want your own shout out, please comment down below. You will all get replied to. And the first person who comments for a shout out will most likely be the one to first receive the shout out. Anyway, let's get started in the video. So, today, I'm taking you to that tunnel I was on about and uh, there is some bad news about this place now um, and that's that the tunnel has been blocked off you can't actually get in there but I could take you to show you it though to actually prove to you that it has been blocked off and that I'm not lying just to make it up because I don't want to go there I'm telling you the complete truth it's been blocked off I'm going to show you right now so just here we're looking at the map and uh, I can't see the tunnel on here, I don't think it actually shows shows it because uh, I don't know why, but it's not showing it. However, it just shows that some things like a museum and things like that. It, it, it doesn't actually show us the, um, where the tunnel is. Look at all that. We're right by a river. That's where the tunnel is, it's right by a river. So. Uh, yeah, let's go into this. Look at that. It's kind of relaxing to actually walk across here because uh, you can hear the river as you're walking across here. It's very nice and relaxing. Um, however, I did not know this tunnel was here until my father told me recently and uh, didn't know it was there because uh, I used to walk down here before, but I never actually went over there. And thing is, it's all over overgrown, it's um, blocked off and I'm a little bit well pissed off about that because I, I really wanted to go in there, I really did. But now I can't, um, but I can just prove to you that it is blocked off, that's, what, that's the least I can do. So come on, let's go. Like that. I absolutely love walking across here. The sound of the river is so relaxing. Anyway, um, I'll show you where, where it's all blocked off. Then also what I'll do is I'll explain a bit of the backstory about what used to happen here and stuff like that. So yeah, please enjoy. And uh, it also really helps me if you actually smash the like button for this video. It really helps us a lot. So uh, if you do do that, thank you t t so much. Oh, what the, the tree's fallen over, look at that. Wow, it came up there. Oh, gone right into the river. Luckily, nobody was standing in the way. Luckily, oh my. If somebody get hit by that, they'd be dead. Oh my. Oh, I'm so fascinated about that. Oh my. And remember guys, don't worry, this tunnel isn't haunted, so this isn't a haunted adventure, it's just me explaining to you. Well, I don't think it's haunted. Um, no, it's probably not. Um, so don't go thinking I'm taking you to a haunted adventure because I'm not, okay? This isn't a haunted place. I'm just show, showing you it. And uh, all these branches hanging down over there though. All branches are hanging right down. Anyway, come on. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You can actually come and stand on the edge right here and actually look down into the, into the river. It's just up here, you can actually see it from just by here, but I'm gonna take you a little bit closer just so you can see a bit more about the place.
I personally hate walking through all these branches. That's the tunnel right there. As you can see, it's all blocked off. Let's zoom in on that. Yeah, I'm wearing gloves of you. See, look at that. I'm absolutely pissed off about that. I really am. Fuck in there. Bees, hey, bees. Go away. So yeah, um, you can see that. Let me just zoom in because see if you can look in there. Here you go. Look, I really am, really am pissed off about that, just like I said. No, because I really wanted to go in there. I'm even more pissed off because I can't even give you a flashlight to say, look, have a look in there. And I can't even let no put a flashlight up and say, look in there because while I got my camera on, you can't actually shine the flashlight. But don't worry, I'm gonna tell you about about this place and uh, a little adventure. Oh, so this shows you the tunnel up there, as you can see. And I'll read this to you because it's um, kind of the backstory about the place. And uh, this is actually online as well because uh, I was looking at it just this morning before I came out here. Um, just looking at it. It's, um, see, there's the map. Uh, you've got all the map. And uh, I could have small people's places, something like that. Well, yeah, that was the map, and uh, let me just read all this to you. The, tr the tramway was part of a wider local system, which included tin plate works and forges, which produced the Ponty Pool Japanware. This became famous as new technique for applying for decorative panels onto a variety, no, onto a variety of everyday items, including trays and teapots. So, what does that mean? Does that mean they were transporting teapots and... Anyway. The tunnel was originally constructed in 1825 to the Ponty Mile Tin Works, to the Parks and Osborne Forges, and probably supplied them with their iron. The tram road continued to run alongside the river. Now a footpath and a further downstream, there's evidence of a weir and a sluice gates, which would have been used to control water in the forges. Pretty cool. I don't know where that is. Um, now this is the bit I'd like to read about and it seems pretty interesting to me and there's the tunnel back in the day That's a, that's a tunnel right over there when it wasn't all run, run over. That's it right there You could actually go in there and um, because um You know my father was telling me that he used to come down here. He used to walk He used to walk in so far he used to come out When did he come out to now? <laughs> anyway, he, he, he would walk in so far and uh, come out another end I don't know where to because uh, I haven't been in there, you know, but he would walk in and come out. So that's um, pretty, pretty good. And um, this, this bit I want to tell you about. The tunnel came back into use as an air raid shelter during World War II. And there are some local residents who remember sheltering during the bombing raids. See that? During the bombing raids. So, so this tunnel was actually used. Um, as you know, an air raid shelter, they would come down here, and uh, as it says, some people remember going in there and um, blocking this off from the bombs and stuff like that. So it was, yeah, used as an air raid shelter because uh, they remember going in there. Obviously, it wasn't overgrown then, let's see, it was uh, all cut back, but now it's just been left here, is all so it's all overgrown. And all the bees are all flying around and stuff like that. Oh yeah. You know, today the tunnel is unused but remains as a I can't even say that. A poignant reminder of the industrial past of Pondy Pool and its association with the Japan Wear. So yeah, there's quite some history about this place, you know, uh, about but about the bombs obviously being dropped and stuff like that and people would actually come down here. You know, because this was all clear there was none of this here there was none of that it was all clear you could just come right down the path and uh, just like I'm showing you by here
bit, 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 bit of a wall, I think. Yeah, I, I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. You, you know, um, I know it wasn't much, but it's better than uploading nothing, isn't it, you know? And uh, she keeps supporting me and stuff like that, really. Because uh, I'm absolutely enjoying the support. And um, make sure you smash a like, because the likes really do help me out. It, uh, it helps me out and it makes me want to make more adventures for you lot. It really does. And uh, and the train station video, done really good. And we got to, um, what was it on that? What was it 70 likes? We I think we had 70 likes. And um, I think that now we almost 200 views. I'm absolutely loving it. I really am, you know. I never thought I would be this good on YouTube, you know, having almost 200 views and stuff like that. You know, it's really good for me. And uh, my partner is still yet to upload, but he probably will. We're on about actually meeting up next week to actually film um, us using a spirit box just down by a pub. And it's actually called um, The Open Half. That's what it's called, The Open Half Pub on, on the canal here in Wales at Ponypool. And um, we might go to the side of that and use the spirit box, we don't know. Or we might go back to the train station to use the spirit box there. And now there is also a hospital that was the Ponypool Hospital and it's all been knocked down now. I don't know whether there's any pictures on the internet, search it up if you want to, but anyway. I, I'm also thinking about going there because although the building is knocked down, the spirits will still be there on the land. So I might go to that, you know, where the hospital was built and uh, use the spirit box there just to try and see if we can communicate with any spirits. Um, we still got to go to the bridge, which I showed you in the last video. Um, hopefully we can go there sooner rather than later and uh, so on really. But, I'm really looking forward to the future of this channel. I'm really hoping that we reach 700 subscribers pretty soon. Um, thank you. Remember to hit subscribe and hit like button. Thank you so much.